Hello everyone, welcome back to Video Technology. So in today's video, we're going to continue Abacus Python scripting series. In this video, we are going to modify the basic Abacus file to create looping. For example, if we want to create the same part in many places, but the geometry are the same, so we just need to copy it to different places, we want to use looping, right? So we need to modify our Python script. So stay Six, tuned. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, and lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis. Mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. So the first thing you need to do is open your abacus. We create model database, a standard one. And then the first thing you need to do, I will be very quick for this one. If you want to know the basic setup, the basic abacus Python script recording, go to the previous video, okay? So here, set working directory. The default is in the abacus tem. In my case, I don't like that. So, I want to desktop in Abacus Python. So that's my folder, Abacus Python 02, because it's the second video for this series. And then you click save. Why it's there? Abacus Python 02. Yeah, so if you check the folder here, there's JNM file, there's CAE file. So this is the basic files that you will get when you save the Abacus CAE. And then again, like the previous one, you can copy the journal file and, and put the name like my Python. Okay, and then change the extension or how you call it extension, right? The format of the file, Python. So basically it's a Python file now. So this is the file. And it's still zero file, empty file, because we still don't do anything. In the previous video, what we did was we create the part, part number one. You can yeah, click continue. It will be very quick. Huh? You can, if you want the slower version, check the first video. You click here, okay, and then you click done, you click done, and you click the tab. The tab is 20. Click save, and then you will get, oh, where is it? Uh, the journal file. Let's open the journal file too. The one on the left is the one that we modify. Okay, and then you copy. So this is the code below to create. This hashtag is to to comment to create. Uh, how you call it? Cylinder. All right. We're going to do it very fast now. What if we want to, for example, make another part that has a cubic shape? So you create another part. Uh, you go 3D and everything, and then click continue. I hope when you read, when you watch this series, you should be expert at least to use abacus, right? So I don't need to explain one by one. You can put any size you want. Click done. Uh, that's the same. Yeah, this is the second part. Yeah, so it wants to reload. You don't need to copy it again because it's the same as this one. So you just need to copy this guy here, right? This is the one. So because these are the code to create the cube, to create the cube is very easy. And you paste it and then you got it. So now you can create one cylinder and then one cube. So what happened now if you view? Now let's modify, oops, sorry. Now, 
you already get this file. So this is basically what you need. For example, if you want to create micro mechanics where you have a cube and then you have a cylinder or you have a fiber that has a cylindrical shape and then you want to copy it for like 20, 30 fibers. You don't want to do it one by one, right? So, but this is the basic one. I mean, the basic step. So you need to use these comments, then looping the cylinder part to create many cylinders. So what you need to do is to read from a text file, right? So you need to provide text file. For example, let's create a file, uh, new text file, fiber core. So open the fiber core. Yeah, and then let's make it manually, right? For example, in the coordinate 5,5. I have fiber that has radius of three, right? So this is the X coordinate, this is the Y coordinate, this is the radius, okay? Remember that. And then I want another fiber that's in the, for example, 10, uh, 5, 5, comma zero, and then the, also the same rate, or let's say 2.7, so the radius might change, right? So, and then you have uh, 10, Maybe 9,0 and then you have this is 10,0. So this is the X. First column is the X. The second column is the Y. And then you have this radius. And then the fourth one. Uh, let, let's make it three. Okay. Three is enough. For example, you can you can repeat it as much as you want. But for the sake of this tutorial, three is enough. I will show you later in the next video how to generate random fibers using Python or a MATLAB. I, I like Python for this case because Python is free, right? But let's let's do it like this. So basically what you need to do in your Python file, basically just to create and just to read that files, all right? So how to read files in Python? How? Oh, first thing you need to do, Searching in, in the internet, how to read files in Python. Yeah. So it's easy, you use the opened and then the file and then this is to read, okay? And then you print it if you want to print. So we can open it and then we put the, the name. What was the name? Fibercore.txt, txt. And then you tell them just to read, right? This is the mode reading mode, okay? And then the data after the reading, you put into a variable my fiber data. It's just any any variable names. So I like my fiber data, okay? So basically, you read the fiber core, and then you put to my fiber data. And now, what you you want to do is basically we want to read data from each line. So basically, they read the whole lines, and then put them into one variables. And we want to get each line, the data for each line. So, data line, my fiber data dot red lines. Yeah, so what happened is that basically for each line, they now like splice the data into this variable. So, this, they are now having like several lines, okay? And now what we need to do is to get the X, Y, and Z uh, and the radius coordinate. So, what we need to do is to first check the dimension, how many data that we have on on this uh, data line number line number line okay and then you can say that this is end data line so basically what what it does was to 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 create the dimension of the data line and then we want to loop now right we want to make a looping so there's so many, there's this number of lines and then for each lines you want to loop to get the x coordinate the y coordinate and the radius okay so how to do it first we initialize the x coordinate the y coordinate and the radius so now we we create empty List, right? I hope it called list. I'm not, I'm not really expert in Python actually. I don't know how to use it. Also, don't forget the fiber rat. 
it's the least for the radius. So you say that for each line in data line, yeah, right? So basically, for each line in data line, you want to read the x coordinate, the y coordinate, and the favorite. So basically, you want to read this data line because each line they have x coordinate, y coordinate, and z coordinate, and they are separated by the comma. So you want to splice, split them using. I think it's this one, comma. Oh, but make sure it's not data then. Data line is still the whole thing. You want to split the line only. So for each line, so you refer to this guy. So for line in data line, so the data line store all the lines, while line is basically the current one that you're processing. So for each current line that you process, you split the things into uh, by by checking the comma and then and then you say chord and then you append so basically you you for each splitting they will find the data and then they will append to the coordinate but make sure we want to append the coordinate with the format of floating while the X here is, I think it's character, I'm not sure. Uh, so you need to use this float. So what what you save here is basically floating number, okay? And you can do the same thing with the Y coordinates. So basically you, you want to take the second data while you split the lines. The first data is the X coordinate, the second data is the Y. And then make sure you convert them to the float right and then the fiber radius you do the same thing should be easy for you now float it should be x2 uh, i think it should be comma okay this is the correct one and then you finish reading the data you want to close the file my file yeah, my fiber data. My fiber data close. Okay, so done. All right. So if you want to check whether this code work or not, you can just copy from here to here and paste to your abacus here. I hope it works. Yeah, so it works. There's no error. So basically, if you want to type I'm not sure if you can read it, but yeah, I'm typing X chord now. Uh, it will show you the X chord in 5, 10, 9. So if you check the data, it's a 5, 10, 9. If you check the radius, it would be 3, 2.7, 3.4. So fiber chord. Oops. Oh no, not, not chord. Fiber rat. So the radius of the fiber here. Yeah. 3, 2.7, 3.4. So now we're good. So we have successfully read the data from a file and then split them into several columns and then append the data to the X chord, the Y chord, and the fiber radius, but make sure we change them to the floating format, okay? Floating data type. So we're done. So now we have X chord, we have Y chord, and in order to work before we did it manually like for example this point this point is 0 comma 0 so the center of the fiber when i draw it was 0 0.0 0 comma 0 so this guy is basically a uh, center and this is when you create minus 20 it means my radius is minus 20 the radius of the fiber okay but in this case we have this radius right fiber rat so what you need to do is basically just to change this fiber rat then this should be i whereas i is the counter later when we create the looping for the fiber and then that's it the depth also we have the same depth right for example let's say i depth my depth my depth is I don't know, in this case 20, right? So just change 20 to my depth. That's it. This is the only variables that we need to define 
when we create the cylinder. So the center, the radius, and the depth, all right? So we, we're done with this cylinder. And then this is the fiber radius. How about the coordinate? The coordinate later. So here, basically, we just create multiple number of fibers, but they are still centered at 0, 0, later. When we finish, we will translate them to their uh, respective location, all right? And here, the same, because we want to make sure that the fiber and the cube has the same depth. So you can also click my depth here. Uh, this is 0 0.2, 0, 0, 0, 0.2. This is, uh, for example, X size. This is the size of the, the cube, right? So in this case, 40. Y size, it's uh, 35 in this case. So you can change this X size and Y size. Okay, so it's really nice. Really nice. The depth now is the variable. The point now is the variables too. The, the size of the cube is variable, right? So we're done. So basically what we need to do now is just to create the looping. How we do that? So what we need to do is to create for i in range 0 to the land. I think I create land. Number lines, right? This is the how many fibers we have, number lines. All right, so what you need to do is to copy this guy here. Oops, you, oh. you click tap, so they move one tap inside. Make sure you did it correctly, okay? So basically, for I, in range zero to number of lines, Make sure you put here double, I don't know, how you call it? Double dot? Double dot? Is it double dot? Semicolon? No, no, not semicolon. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Let's search. Eish. Mm. Colon, yeah, it's called colon, 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 colon. Colon, column, yeah, column. So basically, this is the models, all right? You only have one model. In this model, you have this profile, you have the sketch, and then for this catch, you want to create a circle by its parameter. You define the center, and then you define the parameter by giving the fiber radius, and you have a lot of fiber radius. So for i equals zero, you take the zero fiber. Uh, the fiber radius, uh, the zero element in fiber radius array model, and then for that sketch, you create that part, you create a part from that sketch. It's a 3D part, give them the name, right? This here, part one. But imagine if you create so many parts, the name is replaced every time you loop, right? So here you want to create the name also as a variables. How is here? Fiber name. How? Fiber name. Hey, yeah. Fiber name. It's okay. I put capital here at the name to, to make it easy to read. So, the same like that. Fiber plus, if it's the first fiber, call it fiber one. If it's the second fiber, fiber two, and so on. So, you create string because you want this is a string, right? So, you make sure you add with a string too. So this is i plus 1, i plus 1. Because this guy will start from 0. You don't want to make a fiber 0. You, you start with fiber 1, right? And then you copy this guy to here. It's fiber name now. The time is the same. So part should not be here. Should not be fiber 1. It's not... <laughs> sorry. It should not be a part 1. It should be fiber name. So my depth, the sketch is the same. The model is the same. Sketches is the same, all right? And done. If you do it, if you do it, you should be able, I think, to create multiple fibers. Let, let's copy. Let's prove it. Where was it? The CA. Here. Let's. Oh. Yeah. So here you have fiber one, you have fiber two, you have fiber three, right? And then there's this part one, part two, our initial part. Okay. So it works. It works great.
Oh, let's come back again here. So basically what you did is great. You already created a lot of fibers. So it depends now how long is your text file contained, right? It can contain like thousand fiber. You can create thousand fiber uh, automatically, 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 how? Yeah, automatically. Yeah, right. That's how to pronounce it. <laughs> uh, that's it. Now we already create the cube. Let's change also the cube. Uh, uh, cube one. Oh, let's change. Let's give a give it cube name name. That's a cube one, right? So here will be cube name. We don't need to change this because we only need one cube. Imagine you need many cube. You, uh, it should be it should be better to change to, uh, to the variables. But in this case, no need actually. But I just want to show you that you can always change everything to the variables. All right. So now we did it. Let's let's do it again. Right, this is cube one. It's done. The size already variable. The name of variable. Yeah. So sorry, guys. Again, let's go. Uh, where were we? Oh, let, let's try all the code. Right, let's try all the code. So copy and paste, and then you can check that there's a cube number one, fiber one, fiber two, fiber three, and there's part one, there's part two, all right? It's great. So, Dito, but I, there's a, this this dummy thing, how to do, how to remove that. It's, it's easy. Just you close it. You close it. Okay. Don't save it. And then remove your journal file and then you create delete and then and then you open your abacus all right so now we're back from the beginning but now it's a fair clean we click here we copy again the Python copy I'll make sure you set a working directory first okay uh, where is it? Set work directory and should be in the desktop. Where's my desktop? And here, click OK. Oh, no. Just choose this guy and click OK. Now they are good. Then what we need to do is just copy and paste. Done. Cube. I will want. I will two. I will three. We're done. Right, Abacus, key, Python, zero, zero, 002. So now, so what's next? Next, we're going to go to the assembly. Uh, the property, I assume that you understand how to make property from the first video. If you don't understand, check my first video. But I'm not going to show it again here. Just to make sure, just to speed up the video, let's go continue to the assembly. So basically, you already create the fibers, the part for each fiber with different dimension, different fiber radius. You also create the cube, so you want to locate them to their appropriate location, the X chord, the Y chord. How to do that? It's pretty simple. So what you need to do is to create assembly, right? Here, create a set instance, and then you create here, and then you click OK. That's it. It's all there. What you need to do it now is just to remove this guy to the appropriate locations. But first, let's save it and record the Python file. So you copy here to here. All right, and put again code below to make instance. 
All right. So here is basically to create the datum for the system, the Cartesian, and this is the cube one one fiber one one fiber name, and this is not important. We are going to automate this process. This is what we need to do. So if you see here, it's basically is taking the model one because we only have one model, and then this is the root assembly. And then you create the instance right by this argument with the instance so when you do when you create instance you need information is it a dependent uh part or independent uh what's the name and what is the part that you want to create the instance from right so in this case to simplify the code it's basically you can call it my assembly this is just to simplify your code. It has nothing to do with these steps that we are going to do next. So my assembly is just this guy. Copy paste. All right. So you create a variable named my assembly that contain of this guy. So basically now you can simplify your code by changing this to my assembly. So your code now it's a bit cleaner. My assembly, right? It's my assembly it's very clean just now you you shorten everything but did i don't want to do it manually one by one can't we just do it automatically yes oh oh you just make a looping right and then for the name give a different name for each instance and then right just keep one so you loop fiber two fiber three it's easy. Yeah, let's do it. That's what we want to do. So for I in range zero to what is the length? Number of line, number. Why, why there's no number lines? Yeah, number lines. Then you this. So you want to repeat the process of creating instance, right? For this one, this cube, maybe you don't need to look because there are only one. But uh, if you have 100 fibers, you want to loop it, right? So basically, copy it here, right? But uh, for later purpose that I will show you later, it's better not to just do it like this, like opened statement you want to save it to a list so what you need to do is to create a list let's call it fiber matrix list which is here that should be here so you're creating a list empty list that will contain the instance for uh, fiber and the cube right for the matrix now they are empty what you need to do is to append this fiber matrix list right oh no and then you append what the instance. The instance is this guy. All right. This is the instance. You append my assembly instance. It's on cube on one, and this is the source of the part. And then you also want to do the same thing here. It's a fiber matrix lease, and then you append here, here. All right. So you append also here, and then you don't need this again because we're going to loop. But of course, you want to make sure that this guy is correct. So the name now is fiber one so this is the name of the instance right so the same thing we need to we don't want to we don't want to have the lease no, no sorry we don't want to have an instance with the same name so we need to change these into a variable so what you need to do is simple so you create fiber create here and then you st here and this one should be i right and then plus and then if you want to follow that one one comma one you can create like this you plus again with uh, yeah so it's a fiber number one instant one right from fiber one it's the first instance right uh, or i want to call it like this it's it's much better i know that this is fiber one ins fiber two ins something like that from and the part name should be the name of the part, right? It should be the same like this one. Where was it? Uh, 
think I have it here. Okay. B. All right. If, if you do this, we're good. Done. This is part now is a variable. Also, the name of the instance also variable, and then you append them to a matrix list. And now, when we create the instance, we want to make sure that we translate them, right? So, how? What is the function to translate? I don't know. Yeah, let's translate one and then copy the function. What the hell? Comma zero, five comma four. Yeah, it's okay. You can click save, and you check. You reload it again. So this is the function to translate. So basically, this is what you need. MDB models, root assembly, and to make your code simpler, my assembly, and then you translate instance list. This is the list of the instance that you want to translate. And that is why I have this fiber matrix list. Yeah. All right. Now you get it. I, I think you get it, right? And then, and then you can copy this guy, all right? And then this is the instance list, so this is the, the name of the list. And then you want to translate them into its appropriate locations. So it should be X chord and Y chord I. X chord I. Y chord i right done and done and now let's try let's try if it works okay and then first let, let's remove it the assembly let's make a uh, pop, pop, pop. let's delete all of this all right so there's nothing here and then we go here we control all and this Face. Oh, X chord, it's not defined. What the hell? Oh, I think it's the wrong variable names. It should be X underscore chord. Okay. All right. Boop. Uh -oh. So he found tuple and expecting float. So there's type error. I don't know which one. Expecting float, so he wants float, but we give them topple. What the hell is this? Why I have two? Right, copy and paste. Yeah, now it works. You see, this is fiber coordinate, so the coordinate that I'm using is not really good, right? Uh, so, so let's change the uh, maybe. Tenth, and then it's fifteenth. Uh, let's let's see, and then you rerun it again. The code, my Python control all, and here copy, paste. See, now you have three. If you want to create ten, you can create ten. It depends on your TXT file. I'm going to show you how to create a random uh, coordinate for that later in in the next video, but. Now we only have three and then it works, but they're actually overlapping. They're not like one union. So you need to make sure that you merge them, but you want to retain this boundary because later you want to assign a different material property for each of them. So you want to create one part for your model, one part for your model. I repeat one part, okay? But you want to retain this boundary. So you need to merge so you can create here, merge cut instance, create, you want to Merge the geometry, the originals, you can suppress or you can delete. I suggest you to suppress, but you want to retain the boundary so you can still select the fiber. All right, continue. Select merge to instance. What you need to do is like this, right? And then don't, then you save it. Uh, here. Yes. So this is the code to merge. Yeah. So basically you translate and then you... This is the assembly and then and then you use instance from boolean merge so you're merging them and then this is the instance that you want to merge so basically you need this guy this guy 
if i'm not sure you need to provide them this guy remember the previous one is like this it's called list now they are like this basically they are like bracket so it's not list it's called to play and then a tuple in english called tuple right so you need to create a tuple that contain all the instance that you create all right how to do that easy so just create fiber matrix tuple well so basically you click tuple and then you put fiber matrix list yeah so that is the reason why i create this list for the first so we want to make tuple from this list and that's why we create this empty list and then we assign them we append this the component the component you call it component the content of this list uh, uh, from the cube and for fiber instance that we created all right so now we have fiber matrix tuple here and then what we do next is basically we create here copy boom i don't like too long uh my assembly and instance and i don't like this guy i want to fiber matrix the to play yeah the topple i mean play to play like french like to play she to play comment ça va comment telephone all right so we're done now there one union let's let's try let's try let's remove all the instance we we delete all the instance let's delete all the part all right so they're like empty now and we can just control all c t r l o a then control c you you copy all of them ah, of course you should know that that's easy now there's cube there is each part each constituent part and there is one part called part one which is the merge uh the part that already merging all this fiber and the matrix so there are one union right now and when you go to the assembly this assembly is from this part one so that's how you create micro mechanics with a lot of fibers you can also modify it to, to generate a lot of how you call it inclusions if you want and pretty much it will be the same it's just basically when you want to have like when you, when you want to create a particle inclusion you might also want to change the x coordinate the z coordinate to create x y z coordinate in the radius of the inclusion of the particles right and you can create generate everything and then you combine them into one file no not one file i mean to one part and yeah for the property it's easy it's 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 basically the same thing check my first video you should know how to create a property from here uh how to get the python script from this property module step model is easy right it's easy it's very easy just copy from the first video and the load should be pretty much straightforward the mesh also easy and the job also easy so that's how you modify so that's how you modify the uh, basic code and try to do the looping in this case right and ditto but how do you know it's it needs to play and it needs a um, lease yeah you, you try trial and error this guy was written in, in in here like this with a bracket bracket is a to play it's a tuple tuple but uh, when we work on this guy on this coordinate here i think it's a list right sometimes they need list sometimes they need to play so it depends so that's it for today this second series i think you can extend this uh second video to whatever case you need if you want to create a complex geometry for example how if the fiber is triangle right if the fiber is triangle you just create a triangle right and then you repeat the process in creating triangle what you need to define is just like maybe the length of the triangle the height of triangle the depth of the triangle the name of the triangle right 
So basically you need to change the name to a variables like we did here. So basically if you read this, you can do so many things. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this, video. enjoy this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. I'm sure many PhD students or grad students may need this video because they are doing some micro mechanics simulations or even crystal plasticity. They want to know basic uh, looping in Abacus Python script. So goodbye. Thanks. Thank you very much for watching.